What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know, we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, awesome. All right, so real quick, everybody. This is just a follow-up video for what the Lord had told me on October 3rd. So you know we do the background, the prior word, and then the events. So let's just go over this real quick. So on October 3rd, the Lord said, a boom, a shake, and an angry mob or angry mobs, okay? And so we got the boom which was the attack on Israel. We got the shake, which was the earthquakes in Afghanistan and whatnot. And now we're going to go over the angry mobs part with protests going on with this Israel and Palestinian situation. So it's just a lot going on. So I'm just being obedient and covering that part. And I'm going to continue to cover things as they unfold because you know the lord is the news before the news so with a lot of stuff going on we're going to be watching things closely here and god brings things to me every single day because it's just so much going on and also the lord had said east to west a trend from east to west so as things begin to unfold we're going to see things go from the east to the west and we can see a little bit how the war over there in itself kind of transitioned in other places from east to west. So that is another thing that he said that's unfolding all at once, as it seems. OK, so I'm going to take you to the prior words and then the events. All right. Peace and blessings. Let's get into the rest of this video. Major surprises. So this was more of an incoming major surprises. A major reveal in coming for my glory, a trend from east to west. It has destroyed itself from the inside. A shake, a boom. So he said, many will be at a loss for words. Many won't know where to go. The wicked will continue to point fingers empty shelves, news reports, angry mob. Earlier Monday afternoon, a police line at 42nd Street on Manhattan's east side. Protesters clashing on both sides. No peace! A stolen land! Palestinian protesters aren't turning a blind eye to the nature of terrorism used by Hamas that included killing at least 11 Americans. I feel for their pain, and I'm not happy that they are killed in a very bad way. But they stand by their cause just outside of the Israeli embassy. They occupy our country. Gaza has been more than 18 years old as a prison. Get organized. While Israeli sympathizers vowed their pursuit of a revolution following Israel's official declaration of war. We are from Israel. We are here in the city. A few days ago, we woke up. We saw that all of our friends, all our families got kicked. Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free Palestine! Free
If you don't blame ISIS on the U.S. occupation of Iraq, you are a hypocrite for calling this about land. This is your barbarism and terrorism. Hamas and ISIS are the same thing. The one thing that this government provides to this, to this state that is killing our people, that is using your tax dollars to do so, $3 billion a year is $10 million every single day. And this is just to the military. It's not just to the Israeli state.